In this video, we'll show you how to connect industrial sensors to AWS IoT sidewise. So let's get started. This is our hardware setup. And for those who don't know CloudTrail so far, I'll quickly explain it. This is the CloudTrail box. It's basically an edge device, which is connected to the internet via the blue wire and to what we call an IO module through the green wire. This I.O. module then connects to various industrial sensors, like for instance, an RFID reader, a temperature sensor, or a little stack light. What I've done already for this video is setting up a sidewise portal on AWS. So as you can see here, it's brand new. It's all empty, basically. So let's jump into the CloudTrail device management cloud to connect a sensor into this IoT Sidewise instance. What you can see here is the CloudTrail Device Management Cloud and there's one box connected, um, which we choose and just click on New Connection. As you can see here is the box found in one I.O. module. You can connect multiple if you want and those three industrial devices, the tower light, the RFID reader and the temperature sensor. And what you see as well is that port one is still not used so far. So let's go ahead and connect the vibration sensor to it. As you can see here, the vibration sensor just pops up. So it's really plug and play. You can just connect almost any industrial sensor and the system will automatically find and configure the sensor. This works for over 12,000 sensors in total. So let's go ahead and connect the vibration sensor to IoT sidewise. I just select it and set an interval of one second. In the next step, I can choose my cloud platform as well as the cloud service. So for AWS, we have IoT Core, IoT Greenpress, and IoT Sidewise. And in this demo, we're gonna go with IoT Sidewise. In the next step, I give the device a name. So let's just call it Vibration Test and click on Create. What the system now does in the background is it automatically adds this device through the Sidewise API, including all necessary information, like for instance, the semantics. So let's jump back into IoT Sidewise to see how that looks like. As you can see here, there's already a new asset in the asset library called Vibration Test. And Vibration Test, this new device, already contains all the measurement points coming from the sensor and as you can see there's already data coming in so let's jump to the last minute and create some data here on the vibration sensor back in the sidewise dashboard you can see that the data from the vibration sensor is almost coming in in real time so you can monitor this device now centrally from iot sidewise and all the data points are coming in, like for instance, a temperature as well, which is provided by, by the sensor. This was just one sensor. So as I mentioned before, CloudRail works for over 12,000 industrial sensors. So you can plug and play connect almost any industrial sensor to IoT sidewise in a super easy, but yet scalable way. Thanks a lot for watching.